This is lesson 7-2, graphing inequalities. Here's some vocabulary for this one. An inequality is a mathematical statement that where two quantities or variables are not equal. These are things that we have discussed in the past, but it's good to review it when we need to now graph them. A solution set makes up all values where the inequality is true. When you're graphing an inequality statement, the shaded portion of the graph is going to be your solution set. Here's your procedure for graphing inequalities. The first step is to put the inequality in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, except you're not going to have an equal sign in this situation. And please keep in mind your rules for the multiplication and division properties of inequality, meaning that you must switch the direction of the sign when you divide or multiply by a negative number. Typically in this situation, we're only going to be dividing by negative numbers. Step two is to put the slope into fraction form. Step three is to plot the points using the slope intercept method. If you don't remember the slope intercept method, please refer back to lesson 5-3. Step four is to determine the line you want to draw. If your inequality sign has a bar, you want to make it a solid line. If your sign does not have a bar, you want to make it a dashed line, and you need to make your dashes very clear. Step five is going to be to shade the graph. If it is a greater than sign or a greater than or equal to sign, you want to shade up. If it is a less than or a less than or equal to sign, you want to shade below the line or down. Also, keep in mind your procedures regarding the special case lines like y equals some number or x equals some number. Here's an example. Graph the following inequality, y is greater than or equal to 5. Pause the video at this point to give yourself a chance to do the example. So the first thing to notice is that this is a special case line. y equals 5 is a horizontal line at 5. This is going to be a solid line because of the bar underneath the inequality sign. Now, since it's greater than or equal to, I'm going to shade above the line, or up, like so. Here's another example. Pause the video at this point to give yourself a chance to do the work. So the first thing I need to do is to get this into slope-intercept form. I need to do that by dividing both sides by negative 5. Remember that when you're dividing by a negative number, you must switch the direction of the sign. So now I have y is less than negative 2x plus 5. On the graph, I started out at 5 on the y-axis and went down 2 and over 1 all the way through the graph. I then connect the dots with a dashed line because there is no bar underneath that particular inequality sign. Then I need to shade below the line. As you can see on the graph. Now here's an example where you're working backwards. Find an inequality that is graphed to the right. Pause the video at this point to give yourself a chance to try and do it on your own. So first of all, we need to notice that it's a dashed line. So there is going to be no bar underneath the sign. We also notice that we're shading up. So it is going to be y is greater than something. What we need to find is the slope and the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 2, so I know at the end it's going to be plus 2. If I take a look and find the slope, the slope seems to be going up 1 and over 2 each time. So that slope is 1 half. Therefore, my inequality here is y is greater than 1 half x plus 2. If you're having issues with this particular lesson, please consult your teacher in class. 